Hello students, I am Bani, your English facilitator at Learn Forward by Feather Cab and today we will be discussing the poem, The Road Not Taken. So let us start. Now, this is a poem by the author, by the poet, Robert Lee Frost. He wrote this poem as a joke for a friend, the poet Edward Thomas. When they went walking together, Thomas was always confused about which road they ought to take and later often grumbled that they should have taken the other one. So Robert Lee Frost, he wrote this poem as a form of a joke in order to you know fool around with his friend the, uh, the poet Edward Thomas or the author Edward Thomas. Because Edward Thomas, he was a very confused sort of a person and whenever they used to go out together, so Edward nahi decide kar paata tha which road they had to take and whenever whichever road he used to take, he used to uh, cribble about the fact that uh, I took the wrong road, I should have taken the other road. So it was meant as a joke. Uh, soon after writing the poem in 1915, Frost said to Thomas, Robert Lee Frost bolte hai Thomas ko, that he, read, uh, he had read the poet, poem to an audience of college students and that it had been taken uh, pretty seriously despite doing my best to make it obvious by my manner that I was fooling. So now uh, Robert Lee Frost, he tells uh, Edward Thomas that I wrote this poem as a joke but now the audience of the, those, those college students, he, they took my words so seriously that uh, they didn't think that I was fooling around while I was dictating this poem to those guys. Uh, however, Frost liked to quip, I'm never more serious than when I'm joking. So he, say that, he says that uh, unko laga hoga ki, uh, serious because when I'm joking, i serious. Lagta As this joke unfolds, Frost creates layers of meanings in the poem to show the reader that choice is unavoidable in life. Let us read the poem. Now, two roads diverged into in a yellow wood. Now, ye do roads hai. Thik hai? Ye hai. Yahan pe. Aise ye two roads hai. And ye ek road hai jo do roads mein di uh, divert ho rahi hai. Diverse matlab do mein divert ho rahi hai. Two roads diverge into yellow wood. Yellow wood ka matlab hai, is time pe jo time hai, it is autumn. And jo leaves hai, wo bhoat rustly ho rahi hai, yellow ho rahi hai. And sorry, I could not travel both. Ab main ek insaan hoon, I can travel only one road. So I cannot choose both the paths. I have to choose one path at a time. And be one traveler, long I stood. So because I was just one traveler, I had to think hard and long which path I had, I had to choose. So long I stood and looked down one as far as I could. So I stood in front of both the roads, in front of that diversion and I looked long. I looked time tak, bahut dur tak dekha har ek road ko ki road kahan tak ja rahi hai, kitni dur tak ja rahi hai aur kaun sa rasta best hai, fit hai jis par mein jaun. To where it bent in the undergrowth aur kaun si mein kitni zyada undergrowth hai, matlab kaun si kitni zyada filled hai with trees and shrubs. Thik hai? And then the other as just as fair aur dousri bhi jo thi, it was as much as, uh, it was as much covered with uh, trees and greenery as much as the first road. And having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. So he did not choose the first road because it was full of shrubs and trees. He took the second road. It was as fair as the first road. He could not make out any kind of difference as he saw. But he thought that it was as it was lesser, less grassier and it wanted wear. It wanted wear means that it was not walked on a lot as compared to the first road. It was less uh, weared up and people had not walked on that road more often. So though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. But when he started walking onto that road, he realized the fact that both the roads were worn about the same and people might have walked both the roads about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Now both the roads were equally 
were equally worn on and uh, were totally weird, equally weird. In leaves, no step had trodden black and every leaf had been walked over. Oh, I kept the first for another day. So I did not choose the first road because I thought that the second wanted wear. So I chose the second road and I thought that I would leave the first road for another day and I would walk on the first road some other day. Yet knowing how way leads on the uh, way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. But I knew that I was not coming back to choose the first road to walk on. Still, I thought to myself that I would leave the first road to walk on some other day. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Now, I know that I would not come back and walk on the same road again or on the first road that I left again. But sometime, ages after ages, when I get old, I will tell you guys, two roads diverged in the wood. There were two paths that I could have chosen. I had two choices. I chose the second choice. I took the one less travelled by. I took the choice that not many people choose. I took the harder choice, the more difficult one, the one that was not very much used or travelled upon, the one that not a lot of people have the courage to choose by and that had, has made all the difference. And because I chose the harder option, the second option, the option that not a lot of people have the courage to travel by, it has made all the difference in my life. Now, what is the meaning behind this poem? And what is the message that Robert Lee Frost is trying to convey from this poem? It is about how when we grow up, we have a lot of choices. We, a lot of choices come along and we have to choose from them. And sometimes at a point we get stuck and we have these two choices. We either choose the choice one or the second choice. And both are equally fascinating and equally important and equally charming. But we still have to make one choice and that choice makes all the difference. So in this poem, Robert Lee Frost is about to say, is he's, he's telling that no matter how difficult a choice is presented to you, do not worry back, do not hush back and choose whatever you think is best for you because it will make the, all the difference in life and the choice that you make today will impact what you will be in the future. So, now, choose the word opposite in meaning to the word straight bend. Which of the following words mean the same as demand, claim? Now, name the poem and the uh, poet of the above extract. The poem's name is The Road Not Taken and the poet's name is Robert Lee Frost. The tone of the speaker in the extract is that of excitement, anger or hesitation and thoughtfulness. The third, uh, hesitation and thoughtfulness because he's thinking long and hard which way he has to choose in order to uh, become what he has to be in the future. The two uh, roads diverged in a yellow wood. Why does the poet, uh, why does the speaker feel sorry? Uh, because he could not travel both the roads at the same time. The speaker stood there for a long time. True or false? True. Why did the speaker leave the first road? Because the other one was uh, not equally, uh, was not equally, uh, just a second, because it wanted wear. It was not much travelled by and the second one that wanted wear. Both the roads were dashed the morning. Both the roads were same that morning. Both the roads were covered with were not covered with leaves. False. Both the roads were covered with leaves. Why did the speaker suffer from a doubt? Because he wanted to choose both the roads at the same time. Write the rhyming words of the following from the extract. Black. Now, uh, the rhyming word of black is back, and the rhyming word of way is day. Lay and day. The speaker stood at the intersection of. Two roads. The speaker took the road 
which was less traveled on. According to the speaker, the two roads looked about the same. What did the speaker see in the yellow wood? Two paths diverging in different directions. Now answer the following questions. Describe the two roads that the uh, speaker comes across. The two roads that the speaker came across were covered in yellow wood. They looked almost exactly the same, but the second was less traveled upon and it wanted wear. That is why he chose the second road. Why did the speaker uh, choose, choose the second road? Because it wanted wear and it was less traveled upon. Does the speaker seem happy about his decision? He did not seem very happy about his decision because when he travelled on the second road, he realised that the first road was equally travelled upon and he, it equally worn as compared to the first road. The poet says, I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. What is the difference that the poet mentions? Now, the, uh, the road that was less travelled by, the poet, he chose that one. And in the deeper meaning of this line is that the people, they choose the easier option. They don't want to choose the option that is harder and they do not have the courage to choose the harder option. But, a, but very less people, they have the courage to choose the option that is difficult, the difficult path. So when he chose the difficult path, it made a very big impact or difference on his life. Do you think the speaker might come back to the other road someday and if he does, what might happen? So uh, I don't feel like he'll come back some other day to travel on the... Uh, first road but if he does then uh, his future his entire entirety would change and he might discover something else about himself so i hope you understood the poem the whole gist of this poem was about how you will be presented with two choices and you'll have to choose one from them and how choosing the right choice the right option is very important for you so choose right goodbye happy learning